Hi and welcome. Now we're going to talk about a very simple list activity. Uh, this is the type of list activity or type of activity that we would use if the list view is the only thing inside of our activity. So we can see here that we've created a new Android project, the main activity file, uh, we've changed to extending list activity and all we've done here is just changed the word activity to list activity. We've changed the superclass of our main activity to list activity and of course we've had to import list activity but we can do that through the tooltip as always. And then we can notice that we've also deleted the line that uses, uh, that sets the activities of uh, uh, main XML file and we've also deleted that XML file in favor of just having a single list element dot XML. So let's look at that list element uh, XML. We can look at it in graphical layout but all it is is a text view wrapped inside of a relative layout and we're just going to use a text view. Now of course each list element could, uh, could contain any number of subviews. We could have buttons, we could, uh, as long as we handled them properly, it doesn't matter. Each list element XML file could be laid out in any way we want and that's the beauty of using this kind of list activity with list view. Finally we've got a resources file, a resource XML file that's been added to the res values folder and this is called item data and this is just our items that are going to be in the list view. So let's, how, let's see how this list of items gets into that uh, ray list that we're using in our list view. Uh, we see that we have a string array uh, and this is uh, named countries. Now this is going to go into our resource file as, uh, as an r dot string and we'll look at that. We can see that countries goes into our resource file. Let me find that. Country name is here. So country name and countries is here. This is our array and then country name is here. We don't modify our .java but we can see that these are all ID'd. So now let's look at our main activity and see how that comes in. We get the resources, we get a string array of countries by getting the resources, getting a string array, an R array countries which we laid out in our item data .xml file and then we set a list adapter to a new array adapter of type string and here's our generic list adapter using this list activity with our layout list element, country name, and then countries. And countries is our string array. And so when we run the file, and really this is all there is to it, with a static list of static data that we have here, when we run the file, we can see that a list of countries is displayed. And we'll see that here in a moment. And there we are and then we can scroll our list and we're all good. Okay, now as I said in the demonstration or in the discussion, this is only interesting. It would be better if we uh, had a provision for allowing the user to touch an element in the list and then have something happen, whether it's bringing up a new activity through an intent or whatever we want to do. So. I'm going to pause and make the small simple adjustments and then we'll talk about those and run it again and see how it works. Okay, so we're back. I've added uh, some code to actually produce a toast when we touch a uh, member of that list view. So now let's look at uh, what's going on. I need a handle to the list view. I need a pointer to the list view and I can do this in a list activity just by calling get list view uh, because the list activity wraps up the list view uh, I can just call get list view it'll return an instance of the list view so then with that list view we want to set an on item click listener if we did this in a normal activity we would have to get the list view by passing the find view by ID uh, and getting that ID back and then 
putting that into a list view, and then we could call set on item click listener in a list view in a normal activity, and that's fine. Here, the convenience comes from the fact that the get, get list view method exists in a list activity, and I can just very simply get the underlying list view. So I set the on item click listener as being a new on item click listener in which I override the on item click method. So here are my parameters. I have a parent view, which is the adapter view. Uh, I have a click view, which is actually the view item that is being clicked, the item in the list. I have the position, which is the uh, index of the item that was clicked, zero based. And then I have an ID, which is the row ID of the item clicked. Now very simply, uh, I've moved countries out to be a property so that we can get to it. Uh, we've already set up a countries array. So I just, uh, in, in the on item click listener, I get the countries array position, and this is this parameter. I get the position in the countries array and pass it back as a string country. And then I make a toast out of that string using string.format. So now when we run this, what happens is that if I click on a country, and this will be up shortly, if I touch a country, for instance, India, India was chosen. United States, there we go, uh, Spain. And uh, one more, let's scroll down, Kenya. Okay, so of course this is a very simple example. We could fire off an intent or create an intent to start a new activity and then post some information in there. Uh, we can pass, uh, we know that we can pass extras from an intent back and forth and do all sorts of things. But in this simple example, this just shows you how you can respond to a particular item in the list view. All right. Thank you very much.